guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please make sure you subscribe in today's video i'll be doing a makeup transformation on my beautiful model kim so i went in with an orange shade as my transition and on top of that i added some purple just to intensify the outer v corner of the eye so that's what i'm doing here i was going back and forth between the purple and the pink but then a little bit more of the purple then on top of that i went in with a little bit of black and then i went in with a buffing brush and i'm just blending that out to make it more more darker because the purple was coming off a little bit more lilac i don't know if it shows on camera but then i was going in with some black just to intensify that color and i kept blending it out and buffing it out on the very top i went in again with the pink just to sort of let it blend out and it's not so harsh and i um another trick i learned is i was using vaseline to clean out the the crease area because usually i'll go in with concealer and then i realize that that kind of taints the colors so what i'm wiping away there is the vaseline so you just take a bit of vaseline you apply on the eyelid and then you just wipe it off and now i'm going in with concealer to cut the crease um the concealer that i was using here is warm honey by ellie girl then i'm going in with a flat brush just to cuff out her shape i really wanted a high high cut crease as you can see she has beautiful big eyes i wish i had beautiful big eyes okay anyhow back focus on it then in the inner tear dot i went in with a silver shimmer uh, color just to open up the eyes a little bit i think i've been doing this for quite a while now i need to change up my routine a little bit so i started in with the silver and then i went in with the bronze uh, sort of just place it in the middle of the eye and went in with another brush just to blend out those two colors so there are no harsh lines and that at the end i went in with a purple so we went from purple to bronze to silver goldish so that was the the three colors that i use on her crease and i went in with a detailing brush just to intensify that purple i'm gonna repeat the same procedure on the other eye as you can see here and that i did off camera so now i'm just wiping away any fallout um, from the eye shadows so the palettes that i use was the I used the two palettes that I picked up at this game and then the one palette from Juvia's pal place. So I'm just wiping away any of that excess uh, product that fell on her face and then I primed her face and the rest is history. So we went in with some concealer and that's just under her eyes. You apply a bit of concealer and you blend that out. Blend, blend, blend. I think everybody knows this routine by now so the concealer I like to drag it like on top of the upper lip I think that's one of the things I hardly mention and away from the face sort of all the way to her hairline then I just blend that out and then on top of that I set it with the black opal powder and then I would contour so this is just everything that i do all the time so from here i think you guys can watch i don't think there's anything new um that i've done so far but yeah so please guys make sure you subscribe um i think i'm gonna end the voice note here and then you guys can just continue watching what i do since i do this in every video or should i continue talking i don't know guys just watch just watch all right so that's it uh please make sure you're subscribed
okay i'm back on the voice note <laughs> so here uh, i went in with a wing liner i realized i hardly do wing liners on camera so um the gel liner or the eyeliner that i use is from elf i had i have had this thing for about three years now um and the reason I went in with this wink is I felt the eye was a little bit too flat. So I just wanted to give it another dimension. So that's what I'm doing here. Then I'm just going to go in with her lips. I lined it out with a brown pencil and then went in with a nude and then topped it up with a gloss. So that's all that I did. And um, you need to get rid of that mirror, as I said, because you know, my models be constantly turning. <laughs> um so this is the final look um okay obviously we put on a wig because now homegirl was feeling herself so that's just me trying to fix it and just trying to finesse it a little bit and yeah that's the final look um then i went in again with some highlight and that's about it thanks for watching if you've made it this far i really appreciate it um and please guys do share like comment and all those nice little things and um, thank you so much for watching bye guys until the next one